hello everyone welcome back to my channel so my dear friends today i am with another subject that is basic electronics which is considered as the first subject as per first and second sem are concerned especially for the vtu students so fear not friends you are coming to the correct platform i will provide you some important questions for this particular subject in which most of the students are struggling in which most of the students are fearing also how to pass this particular subject so my dear friends i believe that if you just cover this much portion which i will I will mention in this video over here it will be enough uh, to cover this uh, particular subject to conquer this subject it is subject code is double b double e one zero three and two zero three in the first semester third subject and second semester third subject right so in the module first my dear friends you have to cover some important questions which i have mentioned here first of all explain how zener diode can be used as a voltage regulator it is one of the most important questions which i call it the super important question as far as module first is concerned as already in the 2018 scheme it was consistently asking in the examination right so this time they will also ask this particular question that is how zener diode can be used as a voltage regulator over here the next one is with neat circuit diagram and waveforms you have to draw some graphs over here waveforms explain the uh, working of the bridge rectifier right Next one is explain with the neat diagram and waveforms working of a half wave rectifier and also derive an expression for the efficiency and ripple factor. And next important question that is explain forward and reverse biasing VI characteristics of PN junction. It is also a 12th class basic concept. So you may already come across from these concepts. So these are the four main important questions uh, from the module first, right? So also you have to focus on problems on zener diode and full wave rectifier this is the enough content in the module first uh, to cover this uh, particular module so that you will get uh, at least 15 marks from this particular module as it is considered as a passing module my dear friends as i i have written it over here that is it is a passing module then if we come to the uh, module second which is also a passing module actually it consists of a theory also uh, you can write 20 marks from this uh, particular module over here as it is fully based on the theoretical concepts so first of all working and construction of enhancement type mosfet sometimes they will give in the short form e, uh, e type mosfet you have to uh, what we call as uh, discuss over there then make use of n channel jfet to describe its operation and characteristics these are the three questions and next one is explain input and output characteristics of the common emitter configuration also uh, bjt voltage <laughs> voltage and currents over there and next one is the common base characteristics common collector uh, what we call as uh, characteristics where you you have to focus on these uh, type uh, of concepts over there as it is a fully theory based concepts so just go through full theory from this module too as it is a passing module uh, these 20 marks are just in your pocket over there so these are the two modules then if we come to the module third so module third you have to cover some also theory parts but uh, it contains also their problems so the theory concepts which you have to focus over there is discuss the ideal characteristics of the opmp and next one is the derive an expression for integrator or differentiator among these two uh, you have to derive expression for one either maybe for integrator or differentiator right next one is derive an expression for the three uh, input summing circuit and also some definitions are there which are uh, consistently asking frequently asking in, uh, asking in the examination video examination that is defined the following with respect to opamp uh, that is a uh, silly rate bandwidth input impedance output impedance cmrr input offset voltage and current so these are the concepts uh, theory concepts which you have to cover in the module third i may not call it the passing module just because it consists of uh, numerical problems also so uh, if you are convenient with the problems so go through problems also my dear friends uh, try to solve three to four problems simpler ones so that uh, you will get some idea to write down the given data in the VTU examination, right? So uh, this is the third module. So then uh, fourth module, this I am uh, this I am calling as the passing module, my dear my dear friends. You have to go through full module. This is a super important module. I have written it over here. That is simple numericals over there and logic gates. You may already come across AND gate, NOR gate, OR gate. It is the twelfth class uh, concept so it is very easy to write over there and also some numericals are in the module first um, sorry module fourth which are easier ones so you have to go through full module these 20 marks are just in your hand you can say uh, then module fifth comes up 
in which uh, this is the transducer uh, what we call as module which they have um, uh, added this time which has added this time in this uh, particular subject basic electronics actually it was not in the 18th scheme so this time they have added it it is actually the professional act of the mechanical engineering which uh, consists of these transducers were there so explain potentiometric type transducer explain need of modulation first of all uh, they will give some definitions like uh, what uh, what do you mean by the modulation and you have to explain the need of modulation Ex uh, next one is explain lvdt with relevant diagrams describe the blocks of the basic communication this is the most important question that is blocks of the basic communication system and also focus on piezoelectric transducers this much content is enough for the module uh, fifth my dear friends so passing modules are the module fourth and uh, first module first module is passing and uh, second module is also passing and fourth module right so these are the passing modules which you have to focus if you want to conquer this subject so you have to try some problems also so that it will be easy for you people to conquer this uh, toughest subject uh, as far as first and second sem is concerned that is basic electronics most of the students having backlog in this so i hope this uh, video is beneficial for you people so make sure you will share it with your batchmates so that they can also avail benefits from such type of contents and also by subscribing this channel i can make more and more videos for you people so share with it your friends thank you for watching my video